Hey there, my name is Provis. Welcome back to more. They are billions! At this exact moment, we are currently fighting back a wave, but I'm not too worried about it. This one should be really easy to deal with. The bigger problem is we are about to head into the final segment of the game, and there are going to be a lot of enemies. In about eight days, the final wave will hit us from all possible sides. Very, very scary. Um, where are we currently researching the Crystal Palace? You know, maybe we cancel this one, get our resources back. I want to learn how to get the Victorious. 20% extra gold generation could actually be very, very important for me right now. So let's kind of give that one a go if and we can, but also get ourselves a few more of the workers because we need all that and we're out of power. Okay. So we have eight days to clear out the rest of the map, which already is a fairly tall order, but we'll see what we can do. And I need to get enough defenses to protect against everything else for the rest of the game. I'm not sure how to do that. And the reason I'm not sure is because of the current situation here to the west. A very wide open area, hard to make a good choke point. Up over here, huge wide open areas here and here, not a lot of good choke points. So I look at this and I think we're gonna get hit really hard in an area I have not entrenched. I do not have enough consistent resources. We might be in some serious trouble here. Okay, so the wave at least is dealt with. That's good. We do need to take out the giants, and we need to do so fairly quickly. So let's go ahead and start walking down this direction with these armies, getting ready to deal with all of them. I've got a few kill squads still wandering around. If we can deal with the giants, I don't mind telling my guys to just go on the literal hunt and start killing everything that moves. That may not be a bad plan for me. Let's use our tried and true wall technique to make sure that the giant is going to get stuck. And then we'll pile all these guys up over here. I need at least one of these rangers, where are you guys, to get over here and draw the giant. Oh, and let's research the Victorious. I'm gonna try for that 20% extra gold income. It honestly might be too little too late at this point. That's the thing I'm scared of. Right, we've tried really hard to make sure we have an absolute freaking ton of gold and stuff, and our economy's been looking pretty good. But you never really have enough in this game, do you? No. All right, so let's see if we can grab that giant's attention. I imagine we're going to have to do a fair bit of kiting in the process, but hopefully my ranger is not going to do us stupid and die. There it is! Follow me, you big stupid ugly ape! That's right, right into the trap. That's it, get stuck! Perfect. All right, so this giant will go down, then we deal with the other one. I'm trying to think, where am I actually going to defend, right? What makes sense? I would say defend at a choke point right here. I might lose a quarry in the process. I would love to defend right here instead, but it might be a little bit too wide open. Still, maybe we can make this work. And then up over here, this is just too wide. I think I have to take a narrower point here and here. I think that's going to be the way to go, but it's still such a wide front that I'm very worried. I might keep this kind of where it is, even though there's a lot of delicious resources out here that I really, really, really want to take. Let's see if we can draw the giant's attention. I uh, wasn't planning on it with this person. Decided to run through the wrong way, but it's fine. It's fine. Hey, giant. Yeah, you want to come over here? No, no, no. You guys, you guys back up for a sec. Back up for just a second. We got the giant incoming! There we go. He is stuck, and very soon he shall be very dead. Perfect. All right. Now we take all of our units and say, just go on an attack command. Find and kill infected anywhere you can find them while I go exclusively on the macro game from here on out. I do need to research the Executor Towers as well, but I also desperately need more gold generation, and that means more houses. I'm going to end up needing the workers and stuff anyway. That's all the food I've got until I'm able to get another farm. This will be worth about 116. That's good. Keep this going up nice and high. How much gold am I going to need to actually build the dang wonder? Probably about 6,000 again. Oh, God. Okay, the Victorious is now available. What is going to cost me? 7,000 gold and 65 energy. Oh, even better. Okay, and this should be about done. Perfect. Uh, cancel one of these Thanatos right here. All right, the Victorious. It's got a fairly wide range. Like it to be a lot better than this. Um, we hit as many houses as possible. Right over here is about right. I'm going to actually just get rid of this one farm and see if you can place it right around here. Uh, not quite. Hang on, get rid of this as well. Yeah, we're losing food. Who cares? There we go. This is going to hit a lot of houses for 20% extra gold income. I think that's worth it. 
and try to work myself out towards some of these gold piles and stuff as well. Every little bit of extra money generation kinda helps, and even things like excess oil could be sold for more gold. Everything comes down to gold, it really does. I thought power was gonna be a big deal, farming a big deal. Oh, we lost a sniper. And it is, but really, it's all about the dang gold. Really hoping to see that gold income skyrocket once Victorious is done. I'm banking kind of a lot of resources on that. It's going to pay for itself. And I'm actually seriously doubting that it's going to pay for the amount of uh, money I've put into it. But at the same time, I really want Wonders. Because I've got a 700% score multiplier. If I don't take advantage of it, it just feels like I'm doing everything wrong. Defensive Barrier is 8,000. Oh, that's kind of nice. All right, there we go. So gold goes up by about 700. Yeah, it's going to take like 10 days to pay for itself. Well, not quite that long. But it's going to take a while, basically. That's, um, yeah, dubious at best. Gosh, and I'm completely out of manpower. Still. If I want to start setting up a bunch of towers and stuff, we can't. That's one of the things that scares me, is even if I want to place up defenses, I literally am not going to be able to without a lot more workers. A lot more. Well, let's go ahead and research those Executor Towers. I know I want those. We could get away with just the Great Ballistas, but I honestly am not feeling super confident in that. No. And we don't have enough units to really feel super secure in our current position. So, this is one of the reasons I'm feeling a little bit nervous, right? And I feel like I need to tighten up my um, choke points as much as I can. Because... I'm not going to be having enough units to spread across, let's say, this entire front. This is too big. Maybe across this slightly smaller front, but not by much. Well, while we're sitting on some money and a bunch of resources, let's go ahead and start building these things out like I was talking about. If I can set up in a position where I can at least defend things at the oil well, I'll feel a little bit happier about this. I don't think we're going to get attacked from over here, because if I remember how the big waves work, normally... They're all from, like, the center of the respective maps. It really is from every direction, but they congregate the most there. I think what'll happen is we're gonna have a ton spawn here, maybe some down here, lots here, and they're all gonna run directly into this area. As long as we don't build anything right over here, we won't draw their attention. So I'm not worried about this. This area is gonna get hit really, really hard, especially in this exact spot, which is unfortunate. I don't know if we're gonna get hit here. We'll get hit here for sure, especially in this corner, because they're going to spawn mostly in this area, is my guess. This place is going to get hit really hard. Then we don't have to worry about the entire northeast. They're all going to congregate right here in this choke point from the north. There's going to be an absolute ton of enemies in this area. At least we're making almost 3,000 gold per day right now. I still call that pretty decent, at least. Okay, only about two and a half days or so before we're going to get hit. It's not a lot of time. How expensive is an Executor Tower? 1,200 gold compared to 500 for a Ballista. But these do a lot more splash damage. They're really worth it if you've got enough materials. So I just spent about four or 5,000 gold, and this should be enough to reinforce this area, hopefully, the entire time. We'll see. By the way, we can go ahead and demolish some of the defenses that are too far back to be useful. I know I'm only getting half the gold back. I don't even care, because I'd rather have that half the gold being applied somewhere useful than being useless back over here, if that makes any sense. Okay, hold on. You guys okay over here? Um, the, I've currently got these guys just running around having fun. Tell you what, you guys are all on chase mode. Let the Titans go clear these guys out. So this might be okay. I need to do this in several locations. There were a lot more zombies up in this corner than I expected. We're gonna have to start pulling back and distributing our forces around pretty soon, though. Can't wait around much longer. We're gonna have energy and stuff, too, which obviously is not helping. And in just a couple of hours, we'll get the 24-hour notice. Should happen any moment now. Down over here, I'm trying to get some rudimentary defenses in place. It's not exactly a lot. A couple of shock towers, a couple of executor towers. If we can get a bunch of snipers in position, might be enough to hold. Down over here, I another, need another layer of walls for sure. I feel okay about where things are over here, at least as much as I can be. So that's something. God's sake, give me more of that energy. These power plants build way too slowly. All right, uh, let's get these upgraded, I guess. That's fine. I just need some more workers. We need to get another bunch of executor towers, executors, sorry, whatever you want to call them. I don't care. Point is, I need a bunch. If I sound slightly panicked or concerned here, it's because I verily am. It's one of those things where, like, you've come this far, you really don't want to trip at the finish line, you know what I mean? Yep, there's a notice. They're coming from every direction. They are. Billions! Roll credits! 
It's hopefully not my epitaph. I feel like I haven't managed to distribute my forces around nearly as much as I want to. Let's get some additional snipers over there. Let's get a few more over here. But the majority need to be up toward the north. And then a few along here. And the rest along over here. Oh, God. The problem is, once they really do start hitting, you're not going to have the ability to place down any additional walls and stuff. That's, that's really going to be it. So we don't have much time here to decide what else is really important. Oh no. So at least we're going to be able to get a decent amount of walls. Admittedly, these are starting to look kind of hodgepodge and nasty, but like, whatever. It is what it is. Um, units are just now starting to arrive in all their towers. The snipers are fairly slow. At least the titans are starting to catch back up, so we'll be okay here. As a reminder, all snipers target the highest level. All ballistas target the highest level. All executors target the highest level. If a harpy or something similar comes through, you shoot them first, dang it. I don't have enough power, unfortunately, to get almost anything else that I want. So we're kind of stuck with what I've got over here. Oh, God. Um, okay. Well, it is what it is, I think. I've got no energy left. Can try to build up a couple of towers just to increase the range of my snipers. That's all the gold I've got. Okay, six hours left. Here we go. The other thing we could do is maybe delete some things back here at home. Things I don't think I'm going to need anymore. Like, I don't probably need this many farms at this point, right? But, like, would I really get a lot out of it? Probably not. Um, the problem is I didn't finish walling this area up, and now I'm very scared down here. I don't know. Well, I deleted some lookout towers. That helps. Delete a couple of farms over here in places I don't need. It's gold that I'm looking for. That means more walls. There we go. We're getting up to triple walls over here now. What about the stuff on the outside that's definitely going to die? Sure. No longer going to get value out of that quarry, out of that gold pile, etc. Okay, here come more reinforcements arriving just in time. Let's keep an eye on these different directions. There are a lot of them for sure. I built up a lot more walls. It's fine. The towers will be finishing up here pretty soon. Including a few more ballistas. All right, now that right there is something that concerns me. If a harpy is able to get through and start causing a little bit of havoc right away. Hold on. You guys need to get up over here now. Now. Good news is the harpies are usually the first wave. Once these guys exhaust themselves, there's usually not a ton of them left. Okay, they are hitting almost exactly where I thought they were going to, which is a good sign. Um, alright, any other last-minute defenses I could start placing down? A couple of towers? Sure. Oh yeah, the Harpy's going crazy over here, which, uh, admittedly, yeah, I don't have much of anything over here. I should probably get some snipers in position. Deal with the Harpies. They're trying to get into a couple small areas. Not feeling too worried yet about that. Oh god, that is a lot, but the Shocking Towers are doing their job. I'm very concerned about what's happening over here. Why is this wall falling apart so rapidly? Uh, this wall's starting to crumble. That's a problem. We're doing okay down over here. We're holding a little bit over here, but not very well. It's the spitters, man. I think they're knocking down big chunks of my wall. I'm surprised there's absolutely nothing happening over here. Hold on. We're going to go ahead and unload these units and move them down over here. This shock tower no longer serves a purpose. This executor tower was useless too. Crap. All right, hang on. What else can I do? What else can I do? We can try building another Executor Tower in a couple of places. Um, as long as it's far enough back, we can keep hitting units. Sort of doing okay over there. I'm a little bit concerned in this area still. But really, it's going to be down here. And I think right here, where we're currently the most vulnerable. So let's try for this. Yeah, the north is looking really nasty, ain't it? Oh, lord. All right, get these guys up into the sniper nest for sure. Get these guys up into the sniper nest. You just need some range, dang it. Range to start knocking out some of the big boys. Okay, they're starting to break through in this area, which is a little scary, but we're actually clearing out this small wave. So this breach is now about to not be an issue. We are totally fine over there. This area is going to get hammered, but I'm building more towers for a reason. I think we could be okay. Good god, they keep coming in hard here, don't they? Yeah, this area is in a lot of trouble. We're starting to break through the final wave. This area is now in huge trouble. Uh-oh, hang on, hang on, hang on, hang on, hang on, hang on. What else can I do? Can I place down any defensive w emergency walls? Sure. This might break through here. Um, we may need to move some reinforcements over there in a bit. We're actually looking pretty good over here. I'm going to take the Titans in this area and go ahead and start moving them over this way. And over here in the south, I think we're actually pretty clear. 
So these guys as well need to start moving up over here because this is the next area where we're really going to struggle. I need to get more towers. We're completely fine over here. Nothing to worry about. The south appears to be completely done. Thank God. All right, hang on. Um, towers, go ahead and unload. I need all my snipers, all the reinforcements. Go up over here elsewhere, quickly. Still struggling here in the north, but we're actually holding our grounds. A little bit. This tower's in danger, but we're dealing with it. Um, and this tree line is actually working phenomenally well for me. We've cleared this area out. Good, good, good. All right. Back over here to the west. Over here to the west. All right. Uh-oh. Uh, uh they're, they're definitely starting to break through now, aren't they? Okay, we're starting to lose a couple of units. Um, actually, you Titans need to get down over here. I need things at this tower to finish, and I need them to finish, like, now. We've almost got this. We've almost got this. Come on. It's fine. It's fine. It's fine. Even if we lose a couple of things, we can just go ahead and place down some extra walls here. They're not getting into the main colony, dang it. They're not gonna. I want to save these units if possible, but I'm not sure I'm going to be able to. That said, ooh, okay, we might be able to. Hold on. And we're clear here. Good. That means all of you guys are now going to move up here to the north as well. Yeah, there we go. Now the Executor Tower's online. Come on, Titans. Come on, Titans. Get in there. Get in there. Get them. Get them. We've got this. Holy crud. Okay. We only lost a couple of units in a single tower there. Now it's just a matter of taking down the north, and the north is almost done. Whoa. All right. Can we research any more wonders? There's no way we're going to be able to place them down at this point, but I'll... Sure as heck try for the sake of the score. Okay, that was a very imperfect defense. Kind of sloppy. I feel like I got screwed a little bit by the western map here. This is really not the best defensive terrain. But we were able to make it work. I should have just reinforced this area harder. I honestly thought this area was going to get hit a lot harder than it did. Almost everything hit me right here. And of course the north was exactly as bad as I thought it was going to be, but they still managed to break through just a teeny bit. There are a few stragglers on their way. Just a few more. No problem. Okay, and now, if I want to increase my score, I think the next thing to do is literally just go on the kill. Hello. Chase them down, boys! They're all over here to the north. Actually, it looks like we will be able to finish researching the Crystal Palace before this actually ends. We're waiting for the last of the stragglers, basically. Which is sort of funny, isn't it? Um, okay, hold on. We can go ahead and try building this. I still don't think it's going to be done in time. And I don't remember if you get more score from ending the game early, as opposed to waiting around and trying to milk all the points you can out of these uh, wonders. I have to feel like the wonders are worth at least a fair bit, though. And just in time, an extra 1,500 victory points for me. Now we go ahead and just clear these guys out by day 78. I think hour three, maybe hour four, which is just slightly ahead of schedule, and I mean only slightly, and that should clear out the map. All right, that was exactly as frantic as I remember it being. Um, hooray! We survived for 78 days! I lost 19 soldiers in total, 123 colonies were infected. Killed almost 50,000 infected myself. Population got to about 3,000. Final score just shy of 200,000. That feels good. I don't remember what my personal record is, but I'm pretty sure it was less than this. Nice. And that is They Are Billions once again. We have contributed our fair chunk onto the 1.7 trillion that have been killed since this game was released. Gosh, this is still a lot of fun. It's frantic, and I think at the high difficulties, you start to feel a little complacent, like, yeah, I'm in a good position. The waves aren't an issue, until you get to the final wave and you realize, oh, I'm not fine. <laughs> I needed to be getting every second of extra gold production across this entire run to stand my best chance. But you know what? We pulled it off. I just needed to reinforce a couple areas more than I did, and we actually would have gotten through this mostly unscathed. Really, really cool game. Well, thank you all very much for watching this short series of They Are Billions. I hope you had as much of a nostalgia trip as I did. If you guys would like to see more of this on the channel, even if it is an older game, hey, just let me know in the comment section down below. Of course, hit the like button. That kind of stuff does tell me what you guys like to watch. And of course, it does make things look very good for the YouTube algorithm as well. Be sure to subscribe for my future content, and I will see you guys next time.